everyone! I'm Chelsea from Twinkle and today I'm going to be sharing ideas about how to teach squared and cubed numbers using this using and recognising square and cubed numbers worksheet. But first, what are squared numbers? A squared number is the product of a number multiplied by itself. When we see this little floating 2 above a number, we read this as squared. So this number sentence reads a multiplied by a is equal to a squared. Squared numbers can be illustrated as a square. For example, let's find the value of 3 squared. 3 squared is the same as 3 multiplied by itself, 3. We could represent this as a square with a width of 3 and a height of 3. If we were to draw this using an array, it would look something like this. 1 lot of 3, 2 lots of 3, 3 lots of 3. What do you notice? Yep, they are illustrated as squares. So, looking at our representations or using our times table knowledge, what is 3 squared? Well then if you noticed, 3 multiplied by 3, 3 squared, is the same as 9. Now on to cube numbers. A cube number is the product of a number multiplied by itself 3 times. When we see this little floating 3 above a number, we read this as cubed. So this number sentence reads, a multiplied by a multiplied by a is equal to a cubed. Cube numbers can be illustrated as, you guessed it, a cube. For example, let's find the value of 2 cubed. 2 cubed is the same as 2 multiplied by itself and then multiplied by itself again. We cannot show this with an array, but we can show it using a cube, which has a width of 2, a height of 2 and a depth of 2. How many smaller cubes would there be in this large cube altogether? First we find 2 times 2, which is worth 4. Then we multiply 4 by 2 and get 8. 2 cubed has the value of 8. And that is exactly the learning targeted by this worksheet. Children must first complete a table, identifying the notation for the squared or cubed number, writing this out as a calculation using multiplication, before finding the value of the squared or cubed number. For repeated practice and recall of squared and cubed numbers, why not make a card matching game? Use three different colours, one for the squared or cubed notation, another for the written calculation, and a third for the value. Identify matching trios with a matching symbol on the back. Can your learners identify trios of matching cards all with the same value? For added challenge, there are also missing number problems involving squared and cubed numbers at the bottom of the sheet. Children will also have to apply their Bob Mass knowledge to solve these calculations correctly, using their knowledge of the order of operations. There are answer sheets provided for speedy marking or children's self-assessment. Thank you for watching, and I hope this worksheet unravels squared and cubed numbers for your children. See you next time. Bye!